So right now I'm using chromatic scale, which can be accessed from the scale button. It's just right here. It's the only one that I use. All these are different scales. I just use that one because these are the white keys on a keyboard and these are the black ones. So synth one set to a bass preset. Synth two is set to a lead. So pretty much first off, let's look into gate and that's this button right here. Now gating is pretty much you just tell each note how long you want it to hold. If you don't have anything by default, if you press gate and then you select something, that's set to one, so is that one. So if you want it to be longer, let's say you want this to extend one, two, three, three more. So you just press that, one, two, three. So this goes along like one through eight, nine through 16. So if you can, the longest you can hold a note is 16 steps. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's say we want to figure out something like, um, so something like that. So I'd program this step in. I might've messed up, so I'm just checking this. Okay, dun, 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 dun. right here. You kind of like, you can figure out when the next step is just by playing to like a simple drum beat like I had there. So there it is. Okay, so let's say we want this first note to be extended just two here. So press gate, hold down the step, boom. Now you obviously hear that note's being held. Let's do the same down here. So that's pretty simple and basic. Uh, next I want to look at velocity. Now for the thing is for this instrument is specific preset. It does not respond to velocity, which means it doesn't matter how hard the note is pressed. That's what this means. Velocity is how hard you press the note or the volume of it. So like that, if I put it to one, it sounds just as loud. So let's say this is a different preset. This is on the lead. So what I'm going to do is press velocity, press this note, and then make it quieter. Let's do that one a little louder and so on. All right, so let's play these through. Let's see how it sounds. Let's make them, this one even more subtle. So as you can hear, you can actually see it, you know, as it plays. So if you're just recording it, a performance, these pads are actually velocity sensitive. So depending on how hard you hit it, it will record the velocity. So those are, that's pretty basic. So now from here, I'm just going to add a line here. with the bass. Okay, so I just recorded that. Now what I wanna look into is showing you transposing. Um, the first method is built into circuit. And all you have to do is press the scale button again and you'll see this up here. This again is set to chromatic. So right now this is on the C root note. So pretty much if you press any of these, it's gonna go up or down. It'll transpose both synth lines. So. Okay, so as you can see, that's kind of useful. But what if you wanted to create patterns with variations that are independent of each other in sense. So I'll show you first off something else you can do. What I'm gonna do is duplicate the bass line. And what that did is cop made a copy of it. So I'm gonna go over to this pattern, which is a copy of the first one. I'm gonna play it through. I'm gonna turn off the lead and let's just listen to it. 
Okay, so since this is pattern two, what I want to do is do a variation. So what you can do with transpose for now, I'm I actually have requested transpose in the step sequencer for quite some time. Hopefully they'll make the update. But what you can do now easily is if you hold down shift octave up or down, what that does is transpose the entire uh, the entire step up one octave. So as you can hear. I can go lower and lower. So that's kind of cool. But what if you want to go up a step like you do in this, except just in this pattern? <clears throat> there's a way to do this. So let's say I want this note to be up here now. So something like that. So here's what you do. Now, pay attention. This first note is gate three. So what you have to do, if you want to change a note, this is manually transposing, okay? So if you want to change the note, what you do is hold down the step, make sure it's held down first, press the new note, and then remove the old note. What this does is preserve the gate and velocity. So if you don't do this, I'm going to show what that, that is too. But first off, we're just going to change all the notes to this. So as you can see, I just held the note down, pressed the new note, and then turned off the old one. If you do it the other way, like this, I just turned off the note. That erased the step, the gate's gone, velocity's gone. So always remember, if you program something, I'm going to add the gate again. If you want to do this and change a note, manual, transpose, hold down the step, press the new note, then press the old note. That will, again, preserve the gate. If you don't do that, it's just going to erase everything. So here's the transposed. And then here's the original. So what you can do if you want, you can copy everything like that. I just co I just held duplicate, press that first, and then all these that just copied all the notes over. And then you just go in and make the variations. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And again, if you want to change the octave really easily, make sure you're on the right synth and then shift octave up or down. 